What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 video. Now today, Tuesday, December 28th. Ah, uh, nope, it's the 29th. What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 video. Now today is Tuesday, December 29th, and it is the start of your next manhunt. So of course I had to run through it as quickly as possible to bring you guys this build. So let's just jump right into it. Going into the seasons, today started Castriel, I believe is his name. And um, we're on the last mission, so let's go ahead and run in through it. Now I am running an armor on kill build, nothing special, but uh, I think I love it. Um, I actually think it might be my next video, eh, maybe, we'll see. But alright, here we go, Predator Squad, ooh, and he's glitching out a little bit, this is going to be fun. Alright, here we go, Kestriel, kind of spelt a little bit similar to like Azrael, but Kestriel. We'll see what kind of lore or story we can get into this because this is season four and we're supposed to get like the end of like the division story as we know it with Fei Lao, with us as division agents and all that jazz. So let's see if we get anything good. I am doing this in a hard difficulty because I don't care. This is like the most repetitive crap in the game, and I'm only doing this for the video. So let's see where we're at. Predator Squad, here we go. But anyways, what this build is, and I'll show you guys here in a second, I get over 72% armor on kill. 72. Not, not like, hey, I got 40%, hey, I get 50% armor on kill, no. I get over 72% armor on kill. And that's because I'm running a crap ton of armor on kill with that lovely bloodsucker talent. Let's see what happens so. So Predator Squad. I'm gonna try to run through this really quick and if, eh, if I can do this fast enough, I might do a build video for later on today as well. So in the comment section below, let me know if you guys want this armor on kill build. I'm going to post it either way, but let me know if you want it sooner rather than later. So you can use this with two different shotguns. I actually have both equipped. I'm using the mop and I'm using the Scorpio. Right there, right there. So obviously the mop will give me more armor on kill whenever I need it. But until then I'll just use the Scorpio, just max out my bonus armor because I do get bonus armor on kill as well as armor on kill. But we're already eh, about halfway through. Where are they at? Oh, they're above me. I hear a doggy. I always want to shoot their kneecaps. That's how they get uh, shocked. Look at that armor back. Look at that. It's dirty. Look at that. Oh my gosh. So then when this happens and they're all running at you, just take care of the red enemies real quick. Get your armor on kill. Get your bonus armor. And then it doesn't matter. See what I mean? I'll leave the dog for last because the dog's really not doing damage. And then you can see all my bonus armor. See that? And I'm actually running almost all reds. So I'm getting all this damage and then you can see my armor bar just keeps going up. I love it. And yes, it does work on the drones. As you can see, I just used my jammer and it gave me a few stacks of my bloodsucker. 
not bad. But all right, now we're going towards the last part of the manhunt. Now, obviously, I know that with uh, the manhunt in season four, we're not going to get really, you know, juicy storyline stuff until the Fei Lao encounter at the end. But you do get a little bit of cool, like, uh, story, you know, dialogue out of these bounties. So we'll see here in a second. This is what I love about the Scorpio right here. See this Chunga? He's not even going to move. I love it. It's dirty. That is dirty. Alright, here we go. Oh, he's still glitching. Oh my god. Must be something wrong with him. You see him glitching? Oh my gosh, that was weird. All right, so you guys just saw that Fei Lao asked, um, I, I actually didn't even catch the name because I was too busy trying to finish that bounty, but Fei Lao just asked somebody to do a convoy, bring an asset to her. Uh, obviously, we all know that this is going to go to Camp White Oak, and that's where the president is going to be. So whoever she was just telling to do the uh, asset and to transport them, um, it's actually for the president. Because you remember that the last time we saw the president was at Camp White Oak. And then when we see Fei Lao at the end of Season 4, that'll also be at Camp White Oak. So we know that she's, you know, getting all the pieces together. Obviously with the data mines that happened several months ago, we already knew this about Fei Lao a long time ago. That she's going to end up escaping, she's going to kill the president, she's going to blame it on us, and then we're going to be declared rogue agents instead of division agents and then ba 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 q in division three so i mean this is a pretty cool story um going through all these manhunts again and again and again is so repetitive so what i do is i just throw on you know hard difficulty and just run through it as quickly as possible because man does this get repetitive so for the kestriel part you have to go to downtown east, do four control points, one bounty, and Grand Washington Hotel. For the Federal Triangle, one control point, one bounty, Jefferson Trade Center, and Viewpoint Museum. And then finally, Judiciary Square, you get two control points you have to do with one bounty, and then the District Union Arena Stronghold. Nothing crazy at all, and then you go to Castriel, easy bounty, and you can knock this out in a few hours, like I did. Um, yeah, there's going to be a lot of people out there. Oh, why didn't you do it on Heroic? Why didn't you do it on this? Uh, because it's a time waster. I'm all about, you know, managing my time very smart. And what I usually do is run through it hard and then do the bounty on Heroic or whatever. But because these bounties are just normal bounties and nothing really happens until the end of the season... Um, it's very easy to just run through these on hard difficulty. But obviously at the end of Season 4, I will be facing off with Fei Lao on, you know, Heroic Holy Shit Edition. Or whatever it's called. But alright you guys, that was the Castriel Bounty. Um, it just sounds like Fei Lao is getting all the pieces together to do her little Camp White Oak thing. Which seems pretty cool. I'm excited for it. I hope you guys are too. Um, if you guys want to see this build, let me know in the comment section below. I can show you what it is on paper. Just on paper, let's see, 598 armor on kill just on paper. And that's excluding the Bloodsucker. So I get over 72% armor on kill every time I get a kill. And not only that, but I'm sitting at 900k armor. So that's pretty wicked when you get, you know, like 730, 740k armor on kill with a 900k armor build. You're basically at full armor the entire time. If not, you have all that bonus armor to stack on top. But anyways, that was it. This is what happened when I defeated Kestriel. I hope you guys liked it. I am Kamikaze Von Doom. 
I'm sure I'm butchering that dude's name, but eh, that's what the devs get for making these weird names. But anyways, let me know in the comments section below if you guys want this armor on kill build now or later, because I also have a PvP build in works. So I guess in the comment section you could either say, you know, post the armor on kill build or post the new PvP build. But anyways, I am Kamikaze Mandu. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Ay 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 ay. Oh ah. Oh ah. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. See ya.